Good morning. Today is Wednesday. It is August 24 and it is 11.09 already here in Florida. And this is Lorelai again. So let's start with our gospel. The gospel is taken from the Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathaniel told to him, said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Jesus said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming towards him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathaniel said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Phil Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathaniel answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe? Because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, be my light, be my God, be the voice that will come out of me tonight. <sighs> Yesterday when, um, in my reflection, I think I mentioned to you, who are we trying to please? Who are we trying to please in this life? Who do we have our eyes on? What is the price that we're looking forward to receive? And the invitation of the gospel today is no duplicity. Like Nathaniel, St. Bartholomew, who we are celebrating the feast today. The transparency of him to God. I think this is not the first time that I have been encouraging you all to be that transparent because you can be you can be transparent you can be truthful you can be as honest as you want to be and sincere because the kingdom of heaven is like the promise of Jesus to Nazareth or to Jesus to Nathaniel you will see great things. Because if you can see greater things because of being truthful and being honest, and it will actually free you. The best thing of that is freeing you from many fears. The honesty of us will free you from what others think of you. The sincerity of what you're doing will free you from the expectations of human. Because for human, no matter how sincere you are and how noble your, your intentions are, it will never be enough. But for God, you have reached the requirement that he is asking of you to be truthful, to live in honestly. Just like I said, 
when we know God, he knows that he's not, we know that he's not stupid. He can see us through whatever we have in our head, in our heart, in our mind, in our whole being. Whatever we're offering, he can see us through, through us. Whatever we are deciding to give, he can see through us. Whatever still, you know this gospel from the last few days, Jesus is cleansing our guts. You know, like cleaning the entirety of who we are inside. Because he's asking us not to clean the outside, but the inside of who we are. The truthfulness in us to come out. The sincerity. So we do not need to live in deceitful, deceitfulness in life. That whatever we are in front of God is the same person we are in the front front of people. And the process of humility, the process of humility that it doesn't matter if people know you. It doesn't matter if they look up to you. It doesn't matter if they come and see you and speak with you and Hold your hands. It doesn't matter as long as you matter to God. Because at the end of our journey, it is God's perception of us that matters. It is not the people that we are with that will open the door of heaven for us. People will pray for us. People will lift us up to God. But it is through our own effort, our own desire, that through the grace of God, we can enter the kingdom of heaven. That when we call Father, Father, He knows who we are. So reflect on that. Reflect on cleansing the guts, revealing the true self, living in sincerity with no duplicity and just the transparency of who we are to God. And as Saint Butter Bartholomew to help us gain heaven. All in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.